Hey, this is Matt from MasterSketchup.com. Most of the times when you use the push-pull tool or the follow me tool, you'll notice that any arcs or curves will automatically smooth or soften. But sometimes when you extrude profiles, you'll notice that each segment of the arc or curve uh, shows all the edges. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to really quickly and easily convert this into this with just a couple of clicks. So you might already know that you can use the eraser tool while holding down the control key to soften and smooth edges by clicking and dragging. So you can see that the this these edges have now been softened or hidden and the faces in between the edges have been blended together so so it kind of gives the illusion that it's a curved surface but we know it's really a segmented surface um, to show you the difference I'll hold down the shift key and what that'll do is that'll just hide the edges so holding the shift key and using the eraser tool you can see the edges are hidden but you can still see the shadow differences between each face so that's the difference between softening and smoothing versus um, just hiding the edges and when you hide the edges you can still select each face um, if these edges were were softened then you wouldn't be able to select each face so in this case when I click this it selects all of these faces here even though we know that they're separate so anyways this is in a very quick and easy method to soften and smooth edges but the problem is when you're working with a lot of corners and angles so for instance if I were to make a copy of this and let's pretend we had a crown molding going around a room so what I'll do is I'll just create uh, a couple of I'll create a path here to follow and then we'll use the follow me tool to go around that room and so you can imagine if you had to take the eraser tool and go through all of these and hide all of these it would take quite a bit of time so a really easy way to do this is to triple click the uh, crown molding so it selects all of the connected entities and then right click and select soften smooth edges now when you do that it'll soften all of the edges uh, that are that have faces less than uh, this many degrees away from each other so for instance you notice that this this edge wasn't softened that's because the angle between this face and this face is greater than the 19.6 degrees that we have selected here so if I were to increase this angle you'll notice the edges start to disappear uh, more and more so right now anything over 93 degrees will become softened now more than likely you're gonna wanna keep this at around the default I think the default is 20 degrees this seems to be a pretty good um, angle to to set this at because you don't want to get rid of all of the edges you still want to be able to define some of those sharp angles or else you lose a lot of the detail in the molding another thing that you're going to want to do more uh, most likely is to select smooth normals and what that'll do is that'll blend the uh, the edges I'm sorry it'll blend the faces in between the edges that you've softened so you can see the difference here that all these segmented faces blend together so that's a, a really quick way to soften edges just by making a selection of multiple objects and right clicking and going to soften smooth edges you have full control over the angle of the the softened edges and it's really handy when you're doing stuff with moldings in SketchUp if you'd like to learn more tips and tricks on how to use SketchUp, check out my website at mastersketchup.com.